Hey everybody, Caitlin and I are back today. This is going to be our last Summer of Stories uh, videos for you today. My book is now finished. I love it. It's such a cute, cute little project to do this summer. First photo that I'm going to document today are the thunderstorms that we get during the summer. So we, um, we get lots of thunderstorms. Some are more severe than others, but we always kind of get them. So <laughs> I have some pattern papers here. I went for like dark and gloomy kind of colors and patterns. I was able to snap this photo of one of our thunderstorms and I think it's really cute and well it's not cute like it's moody right it's like perfect to document how dark it gets here when we get a storm so I am going to do um, some repeat stamping I am going to grab this sheet of white cardstock and then I'm going to kind of stamp all over the page. I have a stamp set that I'm going to use. The stamp set is from Kelly Perky. It's from one of my paper person kits. Um, I think it's maybe January's kit actually, but in that kit is this, um, umbrella and I'm going to go ahead and use the umbrella to, um, kind of create my own pattern paper. So I'm taking, I'm starting with some, just some black Catherine Puller Midnight Ink, and I'm just gonna stamp the umbrella all over the paper. Once I had that umbrella stamped all over the paper, I'm gonna come in with the fill-in. So this has a fill-in stamp, and again, I'm choosing uh, the co this over coffee color, because remember, I wanna keep it to like these dark, kind of gloomy colors. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all of the umbrellas. And then for a pop of color, I am using blue suede shoes. This is a beautiful kind of bright blue color, and I'm using it to stamp all the little raindrops that go with the umbrella. Um, and I had so much fun making this background paper. It was super cute. So once I kind of had the raindrops, and you can see that there are some um, kind of gaps in my pattern, but I'm going to fix those up here in just a minute. I'm adding just a bit of a um, piece of my Kikoya tape runner uh, because I wanted to stamp my title directly on top of this pattern paper. So check out this stamp set. Okay, this is the Lizzie Alphabet Stamp from LA Studio. It's brand new. Um, it just so happens that uh, Megan Andrews designed it. I follow her I love her. She's amazing. Uh, Lizzie is her daughter's name. So when she posted about this stamp set, it had to come home to me. It was, it's so cute. I love it. I have already used it, um, for so many things. It has like, it, it's just, it doesn't have just, it's kind of like that Catherine Pooler stamp that I use all the time where it's not just an alphabet. There's also these cute little like icons and little sparkly things and it's adorable. So, um, I ordered their last release was August 10th, I think. And I ordered this stamp set and I also ordered, um, a stamp set that had lined labels on it. I haven't used that one yet. Um, I'm sure I will because you know how much I love labels with lines on them. But this stamp set, I've already used it up for a couple different projects, and I love it. It's so cute. Uh, so you can just, if you're interested in it, Ellie's Studio is who makes it, and if it's in stock, it will be in her shop. So I am using the alphabet here to stamp out Summer Storms. So this was actually the first time that I used this alphabet and I was able to go ahead and kind of link up the letters. So if you wanted to link up your letters and then cut them out, I'm going to do that for my second page this week. Um, you definitely can, which I love that. That's my favorite thing. My favorite thing in a stamp. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to stamp out summer storms. So I, what I did was I started to stamp summer and I forgot the E. 
because that happens when you're trying to stamp things backwards, right? <laughs> so I went ahead and just stamped it on some white paper. I'm going to cut it out as one word and just pop it over the top and you'll never notice that it's there stamping underneath it that says MR instead of Summer Storms. I guess maybe I could have done Mr. Storms. That seems odd though. Okay, so I'm just going to fussy cut out the summer, pop it down over where I missed the E and continue creating. Okay, all better. Now, what I'm going to do is I wanted to add some more to my patterned background. I felt like there was just too many kind of open gap places and I want to kind of fill it in and flesh out the um, pattern. So I started with some more rain. That wasn't going to, it worked, it helped, but not 100%. So then I grabbed this LA Studio stamp again, and it has these little shapes. I love the little shapes. So it has these like little sparkles and things. And I grabbed this little sparkly um, shape, and I'm just going to use it again to just kind of fill in and around and kind of finish that pattern off so it looks nice and full. And there's no like open, awkward white space. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get that page down in my little album both these pages and then we can go on and work on the next page for the last page in my summer of stories book i decided to document the homemade applesauce so that to me was like the perfect ending because when i start making applesauce you know fall is getting close because the apples of course don't come into season until the end of august beginning of september we go visit the apple orchards in um, usually like mid-September. So I knew that that would be the best way to finish off my little mini book here. I, am, I have this gorgeous photo of the applesauce that I made. I'm just going to pop it onto some white cardstock. I am going to keep this page simple just like the other page. I know I did a ton of stamping, so it's not really simple. But this one is going to be have a little bit less stamping and uh, a little bit... Um, more simple. So first off, I am going to go ahead and stamp this home cooking. So I'm just going to stamp everything onto white cardstock and kind of cut, cut it out, fussy cut it, and then place it onto my page. So this is a stamp from uh, the paper person. Again, I'm going to use these cooking pots and then I'm also going to go ahead and use some colors to kind of fill in. So I use the cooking pots and the crock pot because that's how I make my applesauce. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp my title. I'm using peppermint scrub ink for my title and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp out applesauce, link the letters up together, and then fussy cut this all out as um, two separate words. Once I have all of these things fussy cut out and stamped, now I can just put this spread together nice and quickly. So I have my photo and some just simple ledger pattern paper. And then I'm going to pop this little home cooking down and let it kind of overlap the photo. I'm going to cluster up these cute little pots and pans kind of patterns. And then I'm just going to put my words right above that. So really simple, easy page. Um, lots of stamping this week. I was kind of in that stamping mood, I guess. And I don't remember if I add anything else, but I don't think I do. I think this is it. Yep. And now my page is done. So what I did was I had one more like extra page here. You're going to see me do this. I just to make that back cover of my album a little bit thicker. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of take those last those two last pages and kind of just tape or runner them together, <laughs> adhere them together. And then our little mini album is done. Be sure to head over and check out what Caitlin is doing today for our last Summer of Stories collaboration. And don't be sad because we have another super fun collaboration on our on the way for next month. We're going to do something a little bit different and fun, and I hope that you really love it. Talk to you all soon. Bye.